Hello, it is Thursday, January 21st, 2010, and this is your daily dose of reptile news. A 37-year-old man from Malaysia is lucky to be alive today after using the help of his wife and his thumbs to escape the deadly grip of a crocodile. Apparently, the man was bathing in a river near his home when the crocodile grabbed him by the leg. He used his thumbs to gouge at his eyes and with his wife's help got out of the river and is recovering today. Our next story out of Namibia. Um, nature conservation officials have killed a two meter crocodile that apparently had eaten two sheep from a farm. They say they don't know how it got in that area and don't know how long it's been there because they have no other um, reports of any human or animal attacks. And now the story you've been waiting for. Ken Salazar, Secretary of the Interior, responding to a growing concern of the spread of Burmese pythons in the Everglades, is pushing for the, the python and large constrictor ban on importation and interstate sales. The, the quotes in this article I spoke a little bit about yesterday, they're, they're completely off base, they're, they're completely wrong. Um, I have the whole story posted on the website, so be sure you go there and read it and respond record accordingly. Next from Canada, police in Timmins, Ontario made a startling discovery when they did a raid on a suspected marijuana operation. Along with the 430 marijuana plants and 60 jars of mushrooms, they also found a 1.8 meter long alligator. Officials say the suspects are facing charges on the drug possession, but it's not yet clear if they're going to face the charges for illegally keeping the alligator. That is all the news to come out for today. As always, if you'd like to read anything about the rest of these stories, the links are in the sidebar. And don't forget, go hug an iguana.